So we are in the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. This is the TRD Sport. It is the double cab. Uh, gotta say, you have got to at least test drive this truck. You have got to give it a chance. You know, if I'm being honest, the first truck that I drove, that was the Silver 2024, and it was the TRD Sport. I really loved it. It was awesome. The comfort, the power, everything about it was just fun. It was refreshing. And I have to say, you know, I've had, I don't know, eight, nine, many third gen Toyota Tacomas with a second gen thrown in there. And this by far is the best version of the Toyota Tacoma to date so far. Now, I know a lot of people are concerned about it being a new truck and there could be issues, and there have been a couple of issues. Some check engine lights, of course, the infamous drivetrain uh, problem that uh, TFL had with their truck. There's always going to be issues on a new truck or even just a refresh truck. I mean, when you put new systems into the truck, there's going to be some kind of quirk or hiccup or something. So I, I don't think it's too bad. It's not like it's been a mass problem where Toyota had to recall the brand new Tacoma or something. Nothing like that. So what has it been like so far? Now, I don't have a ton of miles on this truck. I've got uh, about 100, so still brand spanking new. But my observations in it so far, the comfort has remained the seat. We have to talk about the seat because I've had a problem with the Toyota Tacoma seats for, I don't know, quite a while. Never could get comfortable in them. It always had a lack of under thigh support even in the auto adjustable or the adjustable seats the electric seats this has manual by the way if you want to get electric you got to go up in package which is something i don't like that toyota is doing they have a, adopted a, a package model it seems where you get like a base even trd version but there are many other levels you can get of course for more money to get more stuff in it right i don't like that but the seat in this truck, I don't think it's necessary. You have the manual adjustments, of course. You can go up, down, uh, forward, backward, you know, the usual seat stuff. This isn't rocket science. And then it does have an electric component, and that is the lumbar support. That, what I assume, is an inflatable bladder right at your lower back. That is electric. There's a square button down there you hit, and it'll go up or down or whatever. I think it's a great setup. You know, I don't know about you guys, but once I get the seat set the way that I want it, that's it. I'm not constantly adjusting the seat. So having an electric seat, something that I had to pay for uh, that I'm never gonna use again, rarely, if at all, is not necessary. It's just not something you need. And even worse is with that 10-way power adjustable seat, I still could never get that thigh support I wanted. I had to put seat jackers in that truck. Not necessary in this one. It's a different angle and it's set up really nice. Now, the technology and stuff in here, oh my God. I recently just discovered that you can actually change the dash setup, the gauge cluster setup. There are different options that you can have display as well as different colors, different themes. It's pretty cool. A heck of a change from the old analog style uh, that we're used to. Uh, the radio. I don't have the bigger giant iPad-ish type radio, but the radio in this is perfectly fine. It sounds good, and I, I will say it, it does seem that Toyota must have upgraded the base speaker system because it sounds really good. You know, we all put that old kicker uh, Subaru speaker in for the tweeters to improve the system. I don't think it's necessary in this truck. The clarity, the functionality, the responsiveness, all that is spot on in this new Toyota Tacoma. Now, as far as the knobs and the other buttons and stuff, nice and big, really, kind of Tundra-ish, I think. And there is a lot, it seems, that's shared between this truck and the Toyota Tundra. 
not a bad thing I don't think and I would even go as far as to say that some of the features that they do share look better on the Toyota Tacoma. It suits the midsize better than it does the Tundra because they're just so big. And I don't dislike the Tundra. I've had the new Tundra and it was perfectly fine. What about power? We have to talk about power and the engine. Uh, after putting a bit of seat time in it, granted not a ton, it hasn't gotten any slower. One thing that I've noticed over the years buying vehicles, it seems that you have that uh, little honeymoon period that you're in when you first get any vehicle and then after you drive it for a while it starts to diminish to wear off that has not happened so far for me in this truck I jump in it it's fun to drive and it now between the three vehicles that I have is my choice what I'm gonna go for a ride I love it acceleration wise man it is way better than what the third gen was. You know, the third gen was a dog. Built-in throttle lag, gutless, slow, just not a lot of fun to drive unless you put the pedal commander in it. Then at least we got closer to what this truck is. With this four-cylinder turbo, and I can't believe I'm even saying it, I think it's a better setup for the Tacoma. They really did a good job. And it even beats out the Ford Ranger that I had driven a while ago many years ago actually when that first came out it was a four-cylinder turbo and it was gutless there was a definite topping out point in that truck I have not felt that way in this Toyota Tacoma it feels like it'll just go and go and go great setup nice tuning setup that they have in this truck they've done a really excellent job now, one other thing I want to mention because I notice it almost immediately when I take off in the truck, in addition to the acceleration and the power, and that is the comfort. The way that the truck rides. You know, they have this new adaptive suspension. They changed the whole rear end. What a difference it makes. It is amazing to me how smooth this truck still feels. You know, again, I'll go back to the honeymoon phase. You know, once that o that's over and you're driving around and going over bumps and stuff, you start to feel like, well, eh, maybe it's not as good as I thought. I actually think it's better than I thought. So do yourself a favor. If you have an opportunity and maybe you're on the fence or even better, if you're one of those people who says you can't stand what Toyota has done with the new Tacoma, you hate the idea of a four-cylinder turbo, you've got to go out and give it a test drive because I think you're going to be amazed. Of course, we don't know about the longevity and the reliability of the truck yet. It has to be out there in the world for a number of years before we can really make a full determination on that. But it is Toyota. They have built their reputation on quality and reliability. And I really have no reason to think that this truck is going to be any different. Leave a comment. If you've driven the new Tacoma, if you own one, are you still happy with it? Do you think you made a mistake? You should have kept the third gen? Or are you shockingly surprised like I am? Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.